Blackout, fighting out of the blue corner, Jordan Todd! I was born in Auckland, West Auckland. Yeah, I've got a big family. I've got five sisters, three brothers, including me, that makes four. So nine altogether in the family. Growing up, I went to Henderson High. Um, I was a pretty skinny kid. Um, I used to play for the first 15 there, but soon found out that I was too small. <laughs> so I was just looking for, for like a hobby interest that I was trying to find what I was interested in. This is when I started kickboxing. I was my older brother. He found out about a gym, just around, around, around where we lived. And um, he got us involved. And after that, that's where my uh, kickboxing career took off. Jordan, he was a real fiery sort of a boy, you know. Even when he was going to school, you know, he, um, somebody rubbed him the wrong way, so, you know, he ended up, he ended up getting them all <laughs> But um, uh, he was really good, eh, Jordan? Oh, he was a cheeky little bugger. <laughs> but no, he, no, even, but quiet, very quiet. And they always say the quietest, dangerous one. But the funny thing, I uh, got them all in involved in sports and uh, league and that type of stuff, you know, and that's what kept him out of trouble, you know. And then we um, looked around for a kickboxing, you know, and, and from there he just took off, you know. Uh, yeah, they were really supportive over the years. Went to every, um, every match we had and in kickboxing. That's like, you now when you think about my head, I've had like over 100 kickboxing fights. If it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be here today. <coughs> If it wasn't for my brothers, we really, we really loved that competition against each other. So we pushed each other to our maximum. And that's probably why we were so successful. And you know, we were, I've been knocked down from my brothers, but I still get back up and carry on. That's just, you know, how we are. And, and it shows, shows, shows now in the ring. Oh, that fabulous Thai family, and he lands some big shots. The clacker is sounded, and they're needing nothing left in the tank. They don't know my background in amateur. I was actually a good amateur uh, boxer. Two years into kickboxing when we first started, we wanted to learn more hand skills. And we had a good friend, his name was Gil Sullivan. He got us into amateur boxing to sharpen up our hands. And, and I won the golden gloves at the age of 16 or was. Uh, but then <clears throat> we weren't allowed back in amateur boxing because they found out our background we were kickboxers and they didn't like that at that time so so we weren't welcome anymore in one way so me and my brothers we went back to kickboxing after you know we won all these golden gloves north island championship Taupo championships all sorts of championships we won at that time in one year we won all this me and my brothers But boxing is, it's, it's, it's different, it's a, it's a different game than kickboxing. And I just want to learn. And... No, he's, got a, he's got a great work ethic. I mean, when he, when he turns up and he knows he's got a fight set, he's, he's into it. And he's committed to it and he, and, he, and he does the work and puts the work in. And he's hungry to learn because he, he is coming from a different code. People think if someone was a, a world kickboxing champion, they're naturally going to be a, a world-class boxer. It's actually not the case. All, all the movement patterns are different, the range is different, how to shift your weight when you punch, etc. There's it's, it's a lot of differences, and um, it's just learning those things as he goes. But he's, he's really picking them up, and he's hungry to learn as well, so it's, it's great to coach, very coachable. Going from a kickboxer that's doing three or five rounds maximum to um, a boxer that's potentially um, fighting for 10 in his next fight, he, he has got a um, whole lot of stamina, endurance and stuff that he's got to consider. But because Jordan's had like over 70 or 80 pro kickboxing fights, um, uh, even when he's fighting someone that might be fitter than him, he's got that instinct that he's um, learned and honed over that long, extensive kickboxing background and title fights. I just want to um, see how far I can go in boxing. Um, kickboxing, I've, I've gone as far as I could. The thing with him is he's got, he's got a ring persona. As soon as the bell goes, he comes alive. He comes alive in here, and he's got those uh, special qualities. 
the say that champions are born or made, I think in this case Jordan, Jordan was, was born a champion, that's just part of his DNA. He's got that, that X factor, he's got that chin and that heart and the punch and, and I've seen him knock down, he gets up and he comes back more dangerous than when he went over. He's got those special qualities of where well, he's only, he wants to win at all costs and that's, you know, that's a special quality that he's, that he's got. Some fighters have that, not all of them, but some of them do. Yeah, I've still got a lot left to give and um, yeah, see how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully we can progress and um, you know some of the bigger fights, bigger shows and, and take him up the ladder and get look at a regional title and get into the world rankings and, and off he goes. I want to conquer the world after that. <laughs>